All right, so now that everything's dry, I'm going to go back and touch up a few spots. Like this, where I had a little void. There's a couple little spots like that. A little bit of flat black paint sprayed into the cap with a small brush. Alright, touched up a little bit there. And there. And a little bit back here. Ready for clear coat. Alright, got my clear coat and activator mixed and it's in the spray gun ready to go alright so there's the buffer tube first coat I'll put one more on it after this flashes alright ejection port cover first coat both sides alright so first coat on the receiver And the first coat on the handguard. All right, all the parts are uh, clear coated. Got the final coat of clear on them, and they've dried up enough to where they are dry to the touch. Uh, it would still these would still be pretty soft, uh, so. <clears throat> the longer it's on here, the the more it'll cure and the harder that the clear coat will get. But as of right now, uh, it's still pretty pliable. And you want to get your masking tape off of it before it cures completely. Uh, I found that it's best to take the masking tape off while it's still a little bit pliable. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Start taking all the masking tape off of all the parts. And there we go. It is. We'll be ready to assemble once it hardens up a little bit. All right, here we go with the receiver. You do have to be very careful with this when you're peeling this off. Okay, got the little receiver done and taken apart from the upper, all the plugs are out of it. Uh, once this cures good and that clear coat hardens up real good, I will take an X-Acto knife and go through all the holes and kind of just cut out any of the excess, you know, clean up any of the overspray and stuff like that. I will take care of that, but you got to let the clear coat harden up real good. Once it gets, uh, once it cures real good, it'll just chip out of there really easy. Right now, it's still very pliable, so it could be damaged. So I'm just going to hang this up and let it dry for a few more hours. And then I'll uh, clean it up and assemble. Okay, here's the upper with all the masking off of it. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot the forward assist.
this is basically just a big wad of masking tape that I put in there. Okay, now the upper is finished. After it cures for a few hours, then it'll be time to start putting it together. So here it is with the ejection port cover on. I don't have it uh, snapped in, but I don't want to press too hard on it, but that's what it'll look like. And then when the door opens, you still have the pattern instead of a, just a big black ejection board cover. And with the lower on there with the pattern, it just makes it look better if you do the inside of the cover. All right. And here's the hand guard, unmasked. Got a little bit of overspray right here. I can touch that up with a brush and some flat black paint just to dull that back out. But some of the edges may need to be cleaned up with the X-Acto knife. Um, so I'll do that once it hardens up. I just go in there and if there's any burrs of paint, you know, I'll just scrape it across the inside. Get any burrs off in flakes of paint. Okay. So I'm about to clean up the receivers with an X-Acto knife and all the holes. Make sure everything's cleaned up. Got all my parts laid out, so we will assemble shortly.